Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I made this awesome pumpkin tray just in time for the holidays. We do have the files available on our website, so be sure to check those out. Without further ado, let's get to it. Starting on a new project here to make a pumpkin tray. First thing that I needed to do was get the piece stuck down to the Stepcraft M1000 CNC machine using some X-Fasten brand double-sided tape. This piece of walnut was actually salvaged from a sawmill and uh, it was in their burn pile, if you can believe it. The grain on this piece is absolutely incredible, but this RC-2265 is going through here and just leveling off that surface. That way we have a nice surface to start with. It's been a while since I've actually had the piece, so uh, we needed to get it nice and flat. Now that that is done, we can get the sawdust all brushed off, and then I'll just pop the grain with some water here, and you can see some of that beautiful grain already. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and go ahead and hit that bell so that you'll be notified on all of the new videos when they're released. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Tools Today. So I'm picking up the 46143 332 inch radius point roundover bit. We're just going to use this to add a roundover over the entire profile on the inside and outside of the tray. So it's just going through here in a single pass to create that. And it does a really nice job. It's definitely easier to do on the CNC with all of these smaller pieces here and without a whole lot of support on the material itself. So doing this on the CNC definitely saves a couple of steps later. So we went through the entire profile on the inside, leaving perfectly clean cuts throughout the project, even though most of this is going across the grain on walnut, which is definitely not easy to do to leave a nice chip out free cut. So after that, we got the outside profile done as well. And then we'll get the bit switched out with the auto tool changer for the 45982 three quarter inch diameter bowl bit. This bit has a nice radius at the bottom. It's a quarter inch radius. So it leaves a really nice smooth bottom. We're going through here in several passes to get down to the final one inch depth that I had cut on this tray. And it did a really nice job creating those chips. This is exactly what we wanna see. We wanna see chips, not sawdust. When you're making chips, that means that you're cutting efficiently and not continuing to recut those chips, creating the sawdust. So we have a lot of chips here. You can see all of the chips that were created here. So we just need to go through and get all of that picked up uh, with a dust collector. So we got all of that all vacuumed up. I use these chips in uh, the woods basically to help me make paths or maintain paths through the woods that we walk on. So anyways, we got the bit dropped back off and picked up the 46315-K quarter inch diameter upcut bit. We're just going to go through on the profile and cut everything all out. This bit is not large enough to be able to cut through the inch and a half thick material, but we're going to go down one inch, which is the cut height of the bit. And you really don't want to go any lower than the cut height of the bit as it can cause some burning issues uh, as the actual flutes are not touching the wood itself. So we got that vacuumed off and then we can get it pulled off of the CNC and taken over to the bandsaw where we can get the rest of it all trimmed off. Basically, I'm just going around this outside profile and cutting off the excess material there. That way we can get it all trimmed up on the router table. So I've got the 47092 quarter inch diameter flush trim bit and this bit can get into all of those pockets that are left with the quarter inch bit that we cut everything out. So it did a really nice job trimming all of that up. We'll go back and do a second cleanup pass just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And now that that is done, we're going to get the inside of the tray all sanded. I got some 220 grit sandpaper here on a Gator Micro Zip. And it does a nice job sanding everything down with a couple of seconds of sanding. And then I'll get the bottom of the tray rounded over using the MR0110 332nd inch radius miniature roundover bit. So this has a 3 16 inch diameter ball bearing on it and it can get into all of those smaller areas. Most roundover bits have a much larger bearing that definitely does not fit into those areas. So this is going to be a nice profile to match the top of the board and definitely gives a really nice look to the bottom of it to match that top. So that is done and the saw stop router table is amazing. There's absolutely no dust left on here. So I definitely enjoy that. But this is all done. Now we can get it signed on the bottom just like I always do with all these pieces. And then we'll get it finished. I'm using some Odie's oil here. I absolutely love the grain of this walnut. It's crazy to me to just believe that somebody was going to burn this in a burn pile. The grain on here is absolutely spectacular and I definitely really like the way that it looks. It's one of the nicer pieces of walnut that I've seen. I also really like the way that the sap wood comes out and this Odie's oil does a really nice job bringing out the grain of this wood as you can see here. 
So this is a process. Basically, we wipe it on, and then I let it sit on the material for about 40 minutes. It can go up to 24 hours, but we let it sit on there, and then we're able to get it all buffed off as well. And it gives a really, really nice matte finish to the piece while also bringing out the grain of the wood like crazy. So this one we let sit so we can get it all buffed off now. It's really easy to buff off, and it's a really nice food-safe finish as well. So we definitely uh, really like using Odie's oil for these trays. We do sell that on our website. Site, so be sure to check that out there. As I said before, the, this piece is absolutely stunning. The grain is amazing and it definitely looks really nice as a tray and shows off everything. Uh, really happy with the way that this one turned out. So Katie wanted to uh, do a ninja scene <laughs> and wanted to sneak in and sneak some pieces of candy. So we're going to let her finish this out. This was uh, all kind of her idea and she definitely really enjoyed it and she loves the tray. So anyways, that's all that really matters. So anyways, definitely check out those plans on our website if you're interested in making this yourself. It's a really fun project and I definitely enjoyed the, making it and enjoy the way that it looks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We will catch you guys back out here on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Are you stealing candy? <laughs> Can you... I, I was stealing candy. It was you stealing the candy? Yes. Is it good candy? Mm, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like your new candy tray? Yes, I can eat candy all day. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this type of content, be sure to subscribe right over here. And for more great videos, click right over here.